the Rebbe, as you know, would walk home for many years, Shabbos, um, to, from 770 to President Street. Uh, earlier than that was to New York Avenue, but that was before most of our times. So in the early years, the Rebbe would walk alone. So in the early 60s, when the, the upheavals in Crown Heights, as in many other urban areas, happened, so I, a few, Bachem decided that it's time to walk the Rebbe, to escort the Rebbe. When he walked home Friday night, they'd walk behind him. But the Bachem kept the distance, because they didn't want to be too close. They didn't want the Rebbe to notice. So once the Rebbe was walking, comes to Brooklyn Avenue and Eastern Parkway, crossing the street. I'm sorry, Brooklyn and President, crossing the street. And suddenly a, a, a group of wild dogs crossing the street as well, right there. And the Bachem, you know, they didn't know what to do. The Rebbe gave one look at the dogs, and they ran off. So the Rebbe turned to the Bachem and said, No, that hit them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there protecting you? Is you don't never deceive yourself into thinking that you're the one that's uh, doing the protecting. 